All right, guys, what's up today? I'm back with another video. I've got my Hyson 500 here, and it's, uh, it's got shifting issues. It's not a super big deal, but uh, lately it's been grinding gears a little bit and kind of getting hung up in gear. Doesn't want to shift as smooth as when I first got the thing. So uh, that's, uh, from what I've seen and heard, this is a common issue with these uh, machines. And uh, hopefully it's just a uh, issue of adjusting the uh, shift linkage. And uh, that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do here. Hopefully I can show you guys how to do this because this is actually the first time I've been into this machine to actually check it out. Uh, it's a 2019 Hyson 500. I've had it for uh, for about three years now, but I don't ride it a whole lot. Uh, it's only got like 135 miles on it. And uh, so, yeah, I don't ride it a lot, but lately the uh, transmission, the, the, the gears have been shifting a little bit hard. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to try to show you guys the steps that I go through and the procedure to adjust the uh, shift linkage here. So first thing you do, you uh, got to take the seats out. You got to get to it. All of it is under this center console right here, your engine cover, to uh, take the seats out. Just grab this little lever on the front, pick it up, pop it out. It's got a couple of hooks in the back that hold it. Set it out of the way. Come over here, pop the other one out. Set it out of the way. And then hopefully, oh, and by the way, the tools you'll need is an eight millimeter and a 14 millimeter. All right, one thing guys, have the, uh, have the ignition turned on. You can see in your instrument panel here, it's in neutral right now to take this engine cover out or to make it a little bit easier. What you do is put it up in gear, try to get it over in low gear. You, you can see it's in low gear right here. Kind of raise your e-brake up just a little bit. And then you just pop the cover out. It can be a little tricky. Pop it up over the e-brake lever. Kind of work it out. There we go. There you go. Let me just take it out. Set it off to the side. All right. Right here is the shift linkage. Now you can go ahead and turn the key off. But yeah, the shift linkage is like a turnbuckle. And you have your locking nuts right here. And uh, what it is, it just needs adjusted so that the uh, it will smoothly go into gear and not hang up on you, not bind up on you. As you can see, this, this engine's pretty clean under here. I've not ridden it a whole lot. One thing I do have to do here soon, is I gotta change oil in it. Believe it or not, it's like three years old and I've never changed the oil in it. That's gonna be a future video is when I change the oil because I got a different top filter I'm going to put on. These are, what I, from what I've heard, are really hard. Well, not high, hard, but a little bit difficult and frustrating to get off. So I'll find that out soon enough. But anyways, let's get back to the shift linkage. Um, uh, let me find my tools. Bear with me, guys. I'm not good at making videos. I'm just kind of winging this crap. All right, guys, here's what you want to do. You want to take your 10 millimeter wrench. There's a little flat area on the shift linkage here. 
and then you take your 14 millimeter you break this locking nut loose break it loose spin it over same thing on this side break it loose spin it over all right at this point turn your key on all right you should be up in high gear which it is it's showing high gear lit up so what we're going to do we're just going to kind of play around with this until we can get it low gear to light up i'm going to spin it clockwise see what that does all right that's all the way in we're going to come back counterclockwise all right see there now it's showing high gear but when you spin it back all right it goes out now just go back two or three turns when the high gear indicator lights up and then lock it down right there all right same procedure take your 10 millimeter lock that one down lock that one down see how it shifts now all right we're in high gear low gear reverse neutral and it's shifting really easy now before it was really hanging up it's really binding reverse neutral high gear low gear there's low high reverse neutral Turn your key off, and that should be it. Just make sure everything's tight. All the linkages are tight. Your little rubber boots right here, make sure that these are on because that keeps dirt and water and stuff out of these little little ball joints here. So uh, yeah, that, guys, that's all you gotta do to adjust the uh, linkage on your Hyson 500. There's probably a couple other ways. I mean, it depends on how bad your linkage is uh, you know, out of whack. So. You just kind of have to play around with it until it starts shifting well for you, you know, not binding up. Uh, you may have to do it like two or three times uh, until you get it adjusted just the way you want it. But uh, this is how you do it, you know, and then uh, just put it all back together. Let's grab the center console, engine cover. Turn your shifter back up. Or your e-brake back up put your shifter down in low kind of work everything back in here get the seat belt cover or seat belts out of the way pop it down over your e-brake back down over your gear shifter boot at that point you can bring the shifter back up that way you can just pull the boot up through here yeah got these little tabs on the front kind of fit in behind of here and it looks like it's gonna be a pain in the butt putting on same way it was coming off but tabs in place pretty much like that right there and you grab a seat and uh one tip about these seats here is right here there's a little bar and you have these little hooks on the back of your seat these little these little tabs go up under this bar here and locks the seat in place so get those started and then push down on the front and lock it in place grab your other seat same thing got the same little bars on the back same little tabs get those in place and it locks right in place and there you go 
how you adjust the shift linkage on a Hyson 500. All right, guys. Whew, it's hot out here today. It's been really muggy. The kind of air that you struggle to breathe in. So I'm kind of huffing and puffing right now. <laughs> I'm sweating too. But uh, hey, thanks for bearing with me. I know I really suck at these videos. I do my best with them. I may be getting better. I don't know. Leave in the comments how you like the video. If they're instructional, informative, if you're getting anything out of them. And uh, as always, give me a like. And very importantly, please hit that subscribe button. I need some subscribers. I'm trying to build this channel. I'm trying to think of new ideas to do. So if you guys can help me out, just hit that subscribe button. And it would be greatly appreciated. Hey, thanks guys. Later.